Etude 89 by Frank Holm, his Opus 35, focused on double stops in the umpa, umpa, umpa configuration. <laughs> but I'll let you find those and, and improve upon it. Uh, okay, so working on this, there's quite a few things in this one. This one's actually a good one to practice preparing for the next note immediately. So at the beginning, I play the first note, I release the note, and then I get ready for the next note. Right? When I end the note, I put the weight back in, and I'm ready to have the fingers on the next notes. So that's something you can practice. In particularly, particularly uh, the second line, third bar, uh, was a little bit of a tongue twister for me. So let's do that slowly. Three and four and. changed a fingering. I'm not sure if there was a fingering there. I may have erased it. Uh, but I do, I do three, two, that as, as opposed to, you could do either way. Okay. Next is line five, the fourth measure. <laughs> That's the transition. I missed that, that E. I even circled it but I missed that bottom D. So let's start on that measure slowly. Three and four and. So I think he wanted that. I think that's not a mistake though. It, it surprises me each time. Next, uh, yes, we could do that. Uh, another spot I have is the second. Line for the bottom, one, two, three, four, the fifth measure. And you can just play it slowly. Three and four and. Yeah, it's mostly just knowing what's coming and anticipating it. I think I mark these spots because of, I'm trying to read this and uh, it helps me if I just take note of the spots that are issues. One last thing that I missed and you're gonna again do is I get excited on the harmony the second line from the bottom it says diminuendo 
and I keep on crescendoing here. Uh, so let's try three measures before that on the piano, and let's see if I can remember to do the dynamics as written. Okay, let's try that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Sorry I didn't do that for you the first time, but I look forward to hearing your performance of it. Take care.